Now that I've fully made it the collet and its receiver, I'm going to create the plate here in the assembly. But before I go any further, this plate was also created in the context of the assembly. I will need to make a part drawing for it. So before I forget, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say save the part in an external file. Right now it's only saved in the context of the assembly. To make a drawing, I'm going to need to save it externally. And the original path where everything else is saved will be just fine. That's the default, the original path. And I'll say OK. And I'll now save that part externally so I'll be able to open it up and make a drawing from it. I want to make a plate to put the call it receiver in. So first, I'm going to come to the down arrow below Insert Components and I'm going to say New Part. Just move down into white space and click to create the new part. And then I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say Rename Part. This will be the call it plate. I'm just going to slide this over. So once again, I've added a blank part. So next, I'm going to select it and I'm going to say I want to edit the part. I'm going to select this bottom face. Go to Features and tell it from that face I want to make an extrusion. Notice everything else has gone see-through, so I can focus on this. I'll look normal to that face. Zoom out just a little bit. And I'm going to make a corner rectangle. So that plate's going to go from here to over here. So I have the coincident. If I push Escape, three of my sides are fully defined. And the last thing I'm going to do is select this line. I'm going to hold Control and select this face of my receiver. And I'm going to make those collinear. Now, the size of the plate will change if I change the size of the receiver. I'm going to go back to the isometric view, and I'll right-click and I'll exit the sketch. So I'm going to make sure the extrusion is going the right way it is. I'll rotate around a bit. And once again, I'm not really certain how big I want to make it. So I could grab this arrow and just drag it down and get a visual representation. But what I would like, I would like this below the bottom of this part. Here. So I'll need to set my size accordingly. So I could go here and I'll enter 5.5 and I'll have a look at it. And that works. And later again, I very likely might tweak this. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to go back to the isometric view. I'm going to stop editing the part because I just want to have a look at it. Everything looks reasonable. The next step I want to make is I need to cut the hole for my receiver into this plate. So to do that, I'm going to select the plate again and I'm going to start editing the part. So next I'm going to expand the collet plate in the tree and I want to find the plane that goes through the middle of it and it's my front plane. So in that plane I'm going to create a sketch. So I, with it select it. I'm going to go to features and I'm going to tell it I want to make another revolve cut. I'll look normal to it. And what I would like to do is just convert the edges of my part. To do that, I'll need to rotate a little bit. And I'm going to select intersection curve. And what I'm going to do is expand the tree. And I'm going to tell it wherever the receiver intersects this plane, create geometry. So I'll say OK. And I'll close that and I'll go back and look normal to it. And I've created the geometry I want. Now I don't want both halves of this. So I'm going to just window select this half down here and I'm going to delete it. Next I'll add a center line because I need a center line to revolve around. So I'm just going to make this horizontal center line, push escape. And then I want to zoom in. I don't necessarily want these chamfers inside the part. So I'm going to select the chamfer and I'm going to delete it. I'm going to just collect this one and delete it. Same with this fillet. I'll delete it. This chamfer I'll delete. This one. Whoops, I missed the line. Select that line and delete it. And remember converted entities, I can grab their edge and I can drag them around. So I'll get these close to each other. Hold control and I'll say merge. Same thing here. I'll just move this, move this, get them close, hold control, select them both, tell it to merge. And I'm going to do this at each location. I could also trim these, but I'm going to continue to 
merge them. And these are close. I'll select them both, release control, tell to merge. And that's the shape I want to revolve cut. And I can add chamfers later. So I'm going to exit the sketch. I'll go back to the isometric view. I only have one center line. It's going to make a full 360 revolve, but there'll be a big slug left in the middle because I left this converted. That's okay. I'm going to say, all right. And I'm going to tell it I want to select the body I want to keep. So if I select body one, it shows me what it's going to keep. If I select body two, it shows me the other body. I don't want to keep body two. I just want to keep body one. So I'll say, okay, and we'll look at it. I'll stop editing that part. If I selected the wrong body to keep, it's not a problem. I'll just go back and edit this feature and fix it. So I want to double check this. So now I'm going to open it in its current position. And I'll continue from here in the next video.